Now in this one, we're going to touch on using the editor. Basically the same thing that you're looking at on screen says create. In create mode, you just can go in and you can build anything you want basically. Furniture, accessories, weapons, vehicles. Even stuff that can be exported into the game. You got people who build like the CN Tower and all kind of stuff. So, last we left off, we were at the meteorite crater with Chen Zen. And it seems we were gathering tin and copper and dirt and more tin and iron and sulfur, and coal, sulfate, graphite. We've dug it out pretty good. Just gotta make our way out and back over to Chen. Now, with Chen, he gives us our first real gun script. But it's not the best one yet. But we can make do. All right. Let's see. Okay, we brought him the materials, and he's like, uh, great, mm-hmm. And he's going to give us the script for the sentry turret. Once we have the, we have, oh, we have the script, and we have two sentry turrets that he's given us. The script, of course, lets us know how to make it. We've got two to spare. Chen's such a nice guy, you gather materials and he still lets you sometimes keep them. giving a quick check here on our resources and what we've gathered so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, our supplies are actually looking pretty good. It's late, so we'll get a nap soon and continue when it's light. We still have to look for David Sly. You should always keep your weapon close. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look inside of his shop again. He's got uh, guns, copper shield, copper shield script, copper axe. We'll take the axe. Gonna need that. Now we have access to gunpowder, copper wire, copper shovel, a chipset, 500 megahertz, charcoal, bullets. All these things we can now make. We'll make our first axe. Hmm. Do you have anything else for me to do? Uh, I've got the handgun and bullet scripts are all ready to go. I need some materials to make them. Can you gather them for me? Okay, 20 yeah, units of uh, what? Stone and wood? And 20 units of wood? Yep, I got that stuff. Good. Now we can have firearms. Mm-hmm. So, he's giving me a, a, a gun script and the bullet script I already have in my possession. Now sometimes you have a script that they'll try to, to, to give you, which means you can't um, use it. You can sell it back to them. And sometimes they won't accept it. If they won't accept it, the green, not the green, why do I always say that? Down below, there is a green box. There's a blue box and a red box with an, an X. And the red box with the X will delete anything in your inventory that you want to. The blue box 
with the lightning strike through it, the zigzag. Of course, we'll split an item into how many parts you want. And the green one will just organize your inventory by the press of a button. It will only organize the box that you have open. So if you've got the box of items open, it'll organize that. If you've got the box of equipment, it'll do that, and so on. We're going to make some charcoal so we can make some gunpowder so we can make some bullets. We got sulfur, we got charcoal, and now we, we make gunpowder. With that done, we can now make bullets. If you craft bullets, you get more than if you just buy them. Making things yourself, you get more percentage. When you craft 80 bullets, you're not actually crafting 80, it's an, a set, 80 sets. So if there are seven in each set, each piece gives you seven, multiply it by 80. If it gives you 12, it gives you 10, multiply by whatever set you are doing. This is not for all items, but with bullets, it definitely is that way. Oh, I guess Chen's going to sleep now. He's tired of me. We've got our bullets. We don't have any more gunpowder. Quick look over what else we can replicate. It's a handgun. Script to build it. Only takes uh, eight copper, ten iron. Now this gun will be powered down. I think the attack is only 64 or something like that. Um, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Do not put your faith in it. Uh, you're better off building your own, especially when you get the MS type muzzles instead of just the the SS. And the SS is more accurate but you can only equip one on a handgun uh, because the handgun is governed by the handle. Handgun handles means one muscle. Rifle handles, at present, in this build, you can equip four. I usually like to build with four, even if, it's, if it looks like a handgun. <laughs> but it's basically a semi-automatic. And time to get some sleep. There we go. Well, rise and shine. We're up and let's get the bed. 8.30 in the morning. Still got some business with Chen. He just turned his back on us. <laughs> do you have anything else for me to do? We'll come after we give a quick check of his shop. See, there's the MS bullet muzzle type. Purchase that. And we'll also purchase the handgun handle, allowing us to build our own. Some compressed biscuit scripts. And a couple of monster beacons, three different types. The red, the blue, and the black. Chen's also got grenades. A rifle. A rifle script. 
but I still prefer to build my own in the ISO builder. Copper axes. Leather clothing and leather clothing scripts. Again, if your character is a male, make sure that you get the male. If your character is a female, make sure you get the female. Look for the little M or the little F on the side of the suit when you put your mouse over it. Now we'll learn all these scripts. If not, they're all useless. They're sitting in your inventory. Then we'll delete the bullet script. Because we can't sell it back to Chen. some more gunpowder. And we'll make the muzzle, the SS. Now, just a little heads up. We're going to go into the editor right now. See, you've got different sections. A tutorial and what you're going to create. I've got my old converted things from the earlier versions of Planet Explorers and then you can make everything from helicopters to large and small vehicles. Okay, see, and of course guns, shields, and swords. And this is my gun section. On the right hand side, you've got the inspector, which allows you to inspect the parts, uh, change their size, their dimensions, once you're in part mode. Parts, material, paint, decal, effects is not implemented yet, and the ISOs, of course, is where we're in right now, where you can look at all the ISOs that you've built or that you've downloaded. Saving a picture of it before you export it allows it to have its own unique um, style, and when you put it in your click quick slot, <laughs> It uh, will show the picture of the weapon or the craft. It makes sure that you know what you're pressing on. So you can see here's one of the first weapons that I built. Over to the, to the right again, you can see the picture of it that I chose to take a picture inside of the editor. Um, built out of iron, steel, copper, silver, wood, uh, some pigment, hand grip course, and the MS muzzle. Now the thing about this, as long as you've got the hand gun handle equipped, you can only have one muzzle, no matter what kind it is. This gun's of no use to me right now because I do not have the MS muzzle. I have to get that from another MPC. So I will have to either retrofit that gun, build a new one from scratch, and of course, pigment. I haven't run into an NPC yet to give me pigment. Well, do you have anything else for me to do? I'm in the process of developing something I call a monster beacon, but I need more animal samples. Can you go get me some? Sure. Another suicide mission, right? So let's see what does he need. One harpy warbird, one giraffe needle nose giraffe, and one wolf rhino. Hmm. Okay. Now, the game never shows you where these animals are. They have free range and free roam. Learn the habitat and uh, where you see one, try to remember. Um, certain things will end up along the beach and at night lots of creatures seem to roam towards the beach sides towards the shore um, large tortoise the turtles um, predators go there too of, co of course but the wolf rhinos are also usually in that kind of area and of course the grassy plains let's see Now 
here's a weapon that I'll be using later on in game. Can't do it now because I don't have the materials, of course, to export it. The best thing that I can do is be equipped for this mission. A gun is way better than a stone sword. Like I said, his handgun isn't no prize, but I can still build it and use it for now. And I can always pass it on to an NPC later on, or just keep it. To the left again was my materials. Uh, you can do your own custom materials. That's why they look kind of funny and all bright. But uh, you can do your own customs, or you can use the standard ones to create your ISOs. Uh, I think I'm going to leave some links in the description of um, um, ISO Planet where you can go and download some of the ISOs, of course. Um, go beyond the rim.com, my site, which uh, you can see the storyline and um, get any more information on the game. See, this is what I'm talking about. You got your ISOs. You can build large vehicles, small, medium, depending on what you're doing, if it's a helicopter or a land vehicle. The materials are displayed on the left-hand side. The vehicles have front and back. In parts, you can gain access to the parts that go into it, whether it be cockpit wheels and weapons. Uh, we've got decals now in the game which allows you to put stickers onto crafts and guns. And of course, when you're building stuff, uh, the sky is the limit and it's up to your imagination. See, I've built uh, this mecha here and I've been practicing with the decals, putting them on the outside. And, you, of course, you can import textures. So here's an older gun from the earlier version of Planet Explorers. I think it was when it was back in 5.3. But they have a converter, which allows you to convert your old ISOs, at least the weapons and the vehicles, so that they can be used in the current version of Planet Explorers. So, here's a gun just needs... Um, Four pieces of silver, which I don't have yet. And of course, pigment becomes a problem. Every time the game some t uh, comes out, things will change. So sometimes you have pigment accessible, and other times you don't. So sometimes I make a gun with no paint on it. And just go with that. I don't think I'm going to find a weapon that has all the materials that I have right now. At least not at this early stage. I think I'll do is I may take a weapon itself and either retrofit it and kind of <laughs> dummy it down a bit so that I can use it or go on in and uh, let's create one from scratch, something simple, or use Chen Zen's gun. Now, as you can see to the DOM bottom right hand corner there is uh, the word menu next to that is a trash can which is delete you can delete your ISO or pieces of it that you have highlighted there's a save button next to that and of course next to that one is the save as where you can name your ISO and also take a picture and put the picture to it uh, next to that which is to the far right hand side is the export export to take that weapon or vehicle and place it into the world now, into your inventory where you'll have access to use it. The attributes, of course, are shown also to the right-hand side. Uh, the rate of fire, the attack that it gives, the accuracy, the durability, all that, that comes from whatever materials that you use to build it. You can even put a little heading um, when you're taking the picture and naming the weapon or vehicle. 
any funny heading you want to, or just a description of the vehicle, or just um, or either, that you are the one who made it. Here's my little handgun. The attack on this thing is 362.8. But without the MS muzzles, I can't build it. And I don't have pigment. And I don't have silver. And I don't have steel yet. Steel will come from another NPC as well. So. I'll need an alternative weapon. At least this gave me the opportunity to introduce you to the editor and um, some of its key functions. On another episode, we'll go more in depth. Here's our scanner. Scanning for silver. If we can make, get some silver, maybe we can make one of those weapons. Not getting anything right now. So there's no silver in this immediate vicinity. Now Chen Zin also did have the arrow script, and uh, I think it's a an iron bow. So that's another alternative until I get the, the gun that I want. As long as you've got wood, you've got arrows. Now, most of the ISOs that I have so far are ones that I have built in Marauder's Mad Mad Labs. But I also do have some ISOs from, from, from some pretty talented members, I must say. Um, if you go over to ISO Planet, you'll definitely see what I mean. If you go to the Pathia form for Planet Explorers and look up ISOs, and you just go through each little section, see what the guys are producing. You'll be amazed. We'll save this progress here. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. I hit the load instead of the save. Alright, I can always load in from an auto save. <laughs> Got distracted. See? Loaded myself all the way back here. So, let's go and find the autosave and load it quickly before the game overwrites it. There we go. Close one. Okay, he's seen us. Weapons ready. Eat it. Oh, you're running now, huh? What's wrong? You don't want to play? There we go. Like I said, guns and projectile weapons are just my thing. Okay, now we will work on saving that checkpoint properly. I guess we'll end here and continue next time. This is the Marauder with 
Planet Explorers 7.5.